Hi everybody. Today's video is about at home exercising. It's something that you can do no matter where you are. All you need is a good hard surface, a pair of tennis shoes, some workout clothes, and a mat and you will be good to go. And I promise you that I will modify these exercises to accommodate everybody's fitness level. If you have issues with the knees, we'll bring things down. If you don't, we'll pump things up. You can get a fabulous heart pumping, booty shaping, arm busting workout in your house without having to go anywhere, pay anybody, or do a thing. So are you ready to get started? We're gonna hit the cardio first and get our heart pumping. So the first thing we want to do is just get loose and open up our body. So breathe in, breathe out, inhale, exhale, reach all the way up, down, sweep up one more time, sweep down, all the way down, and just let it hang. Just hang and slightly move from toe to toe. Slightly move, feel that hamstring stretch. Toe to toe, release it, let it go. Let your head hang. Back and forth. Slowly come up, just hold up. Once you're up, grab a hold of each knee one at a time and just pull. Each knee, pull. 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 Just loosening up the hip joint. Pull. And now we're going to sweep through and do more hamstring. One leg out straight and just sweep it through. So it looks like this. Nice flat back. Sweep it through. And next up, we're going to stretch out our calves. Just push up against a wall and one at a time. ready to begin our cardio. Okay, the first thing we're going to do are toe touches. And we're going basically side to side, side to side, side to side. If your knees have a problem, don't put a hop in it. Just reach out, side to side, keep it low. Give it a nice squat. If you can put a little hop in it, you can do almost like a ski. Hop, touch behind, alternate the hand, hop, touch behind, and then you pick up the pace. Feeling it nice here in the hip flexor, in the hips, hamstrings, quads, and your heart, side to side. And do it for 30 seconds. Once your 30 seconds are up, it's now time for squats. The way to do this, toes pointed forward, then down and up, down and up. Kick your booty out and up, down and up. Back straight, down and up. You want to modify this one, put a hop in it, down and up, down and up. Just that little hop really kicks up the heart rate. Down and up. And again, 30 seconds. Again, can't handle the hop. Down and up is plenty. But you can 
here in me, I'm beginning to really feel it. Once your squats are done, it's time for high knees, running in place, knee up high. If you can't run, for you it's going to be a high march like this. Okay, it's a high march if you can't run. Looks like that. If you can, put a little hop in it, it's this. Again, we're gonna do everything. Goal, 30. If you can't get to 30, as long as you can. Keep it moving. Keep it high. Woo. Girl. Okay, next up is the power jack. Like a jumping jack. But we're going to keep our feet wide and incorporate a squat. So you're getting a nice kind of a plie thing going on here. So it looks like plie, back, plie, back. You can't do the hop. You're just going to give yourself a nice plie. Plie and up. Plie, up. Plie, up. For those of us who want to continue the heart rate, here we go. Plie together. Plie together. Plie together. Again, 30 seconds. If you can get there, Woo. but just start with whatever you can do. Next up on the list, fast feet. It's exactly what it sounds like. Running in place, quick. Quick, 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 quick. You can do this because you're not lifting your knees really high, so there's no real impact. Fast, 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 fast. Fast as you can. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. 30 seconds. Go, 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 go. Your calves are gonna burn. You're gonna feel great. Heart's gonna soar. Fast, fast, fast. Go, go, go. Woo! Okay. And done. Uh, last but not least, we're gonna do butt kicks. If you can do the running motion, it's like this. Try to kick your butt. If you can't do the hop, it's that. A swoop. Shove it back. Try to kick your booty. I'm gonna show you how tight you are in your quads. Kick. Foot kick. Go. 30. Congratulations, that completes the cardio portion of this video. You can start it with one circuit at 30 seconds each, or however long you can do. And when you finish that circuit and your heart gets used to it, repeat the whole thing again. So you gotta go in twice. You can do it. Whew, breathe. Okay, so we're on our mat now, and 
I would like to incorporate some of the things that I do in my yoga class and bring that to you. A lot of it will involve core, stability, ab work, balance. To me, I'm trying to combine the best of all worlds so that we can hit every body part efficiently and also challenging our bodies in new and different ways. So the first thing that we're going to do is the bird dog. And that's gonna require you to get on all fours, like so, almost like a, a tabletop, everything in a 90 degree. And what we're gonna do is take opposite arm and opposite leg. So in this case, right arm, left leg. I'm gonna bring it in together and then reach out. Together, reach out. Back nice and straight, bring in your head as you crunch. Reach out. And out. You're feeling this in your core, your balance, your obliques, great all over power move. And we're gonna do 15 on each side. And then to switch sides, get back to your tabletop, find your balance, flat back. Now it's gonna be left arm and right knee. Crunch it in, straighten it out and you want your arm and your leg parallel. Nice, long, and straight. Crunch it in, straighten it out. Keep your core stable and even over your mat. The tendency is to start tipping to the side that your hand is on. See, and opening up. You want to be nice and flat. Crunch, straight. Crunch, and out. And again, 15. You'll be surprised in how many places you feel this. Back of my shoulder, tricep, abs, hamstrings, glutes, you name it. We're fighting it all right here. And then come in and release. Few moments to breathe. The next one is going to take us into a downward dog position, and we're going to do ab and core work here. So find your downward dog, right? Feet not too far apart, heels as far down as you can get them. That's my biggest challenge. Super, super tight calves. So my heels will only go so far. Fingertips pointed forward. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a leg, right leg in this case. We're gonna do knee to nose and extend. Knee to right elbow and extend. Knee to left elbow and extend and bring it down. Paddle it up. Staying in downward dog. Now comes the left at leg. Left knee to nose. Get in. Extend. Left knee, left elbow. Bring it in. Extend. Left knee, right elbow. Bring it in. Extend, bring it down, pedal it out, bring your knees out, child's pose, widen your knees, come in, forehead down, arms out, and just breathe. Okay, more core work, because I'm a big fan of having strong abs and a strong core at 53. So what we're gonna do is come up into our plank. Okay, and now we're gonna touch opposite hand to opposite shoulder. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep your balance. Eleven, twelve. Don't open. Torso stays flat to the floor. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Do as many as you can. Woo! Downward dog is a release. Come down to your knees. And let's get ready for the next. So our next exercise is side plank. We're really going to challenge our oblique area and our core because we're going to hold this position and not move. So side plank looks like this. Start on your right side, right arm down. Put your feet together. You can stack your feet and hold it like so. And this is a total core and stability move. To advance it, you would lift a leg and lift an arm and hold for as long as you can. You're gonna feel some serious shaking here. It's all good. If you need to modify, put your back knee down and just hold it. Back foot down, sorry. And come on down. Woo! You're gonna feel some killer arm work and oblique. Wow. Okay, next side. Stack your legs. Get your arm nice and straight. Up. Make sure you're not tipping back like that. Nice and parallel. Hand on your hip. Hip up, not sinking. Hip up. Okay, that's step one. Modification, if this is too hard, bring your back knee, back foot on the ground. I keep saying back knee. Okay, if you're ready for the advancement, lift that leg, lift that arm. <laughs> she thought she was ready. And hold. Woo! And then bring it on down. Oh, good work. Challenging. Good work. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So I believe in doing push-up work for strong arms, chest. We ladies, as we age, tend to get little fat bulges right in here. So you really want to keep this nice, firm, and tight. Push-up is a great way to do it. Of course, you can do a standard push-up or you can do a modified push-up. So, your standard push-up is obviously a nice flat back, down and up, down and up. You can't do that, knees down. Widen your arm stance a little bit. Bring those legs up, down and up. Do as many as you can. And bring it back. Okay. Last but not least will be something for our triceps. I'm gonna to have to change locations because you can essentially do this anywhere. See, and I didn't have to move far because what you want is some kind of a stable bench, chair, back of the couch, something that gives you elevation to be able to dip behind. So I'm gonna use the edge of this bench here, put my arms behind it, feet out at about a little more than 90, dip down, straighten up. Dip, straighten up. This is the part we women hate. And that will be the backs of our arms. Jiggly wigglies. And you wave goodbye. And you realize your arm is still waving after you've stopped. 
Nobody likes that. So you dip as long and as often as you can. This is cheating yourself, these little babies. 90 degrees, and up. Mm. Whew. Um, this was one of your suggestions, how to stay fit. A lot of you are asking me what I'm doing at home. And so this is it. Make sure you are taking care of yourself. Do not let this moment in time allow you to slide and to give up. You are always in control of your life in every way of your life. It's a choice that we have to make. And sometimes it means pushing through depression, pushing through laziness, pushing through I don't want to, and just doing it. And the act of doing becomes contagious. It is a stimulant, it is euphoric. And the more you do, the more you wanna do. And before you know it, you are on this path to being a whole, healthy, happy, well-rounded individual. That's what it is that I'm hoping that you seek. Oh, and one more thing. If you are a big time yoga fan, have I got something to share with you. If you follow me on Instagram, you've been seeing that I'm sharing links in my story to these videos. These are produced by my sister-in-law and her family in Prague, and they run the House of Lobkowitz, and that features the Lobkowitz collections. So they came up with this great new idea that allows virtual access to the museums while providing an outlet to de-stress, and they're calling it yoga art. Are you looking for a way to find peace and clarity without ever leaving your home? Let Alex and Lucia help cultivate your mind, body, and spirit with Yogart. I will provide links to all of the videos that they have shot in the description portion of the video because it's an amazing experience to have the peace, to have the well-being, the, the strength, um, all the wonderful things that you derive from yoga, and then have a history lesson and a tour and feel like you're traveling at the same time. So I want to offer that to you too. So now I will say, go out, be bold and be blessed, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for being here.